Hello friends, today I'm going to show you how to configure database suspect pages alert in SQL Server. Here uh, we can configure in two ways. Uh, I will show you the two ways and whichever the, you are comfortable uh, for your business requirement and you can go uh, use that technique okay as of now here uh, first of all i would like to know whenever the page got corrupted by any reason all those pages are recorded into msdb.do suspect pages as of now if i see here these are like uh, there is one page corrupted on test database which is an mdf file which is number page number 392 which is even type 2 to even 2 means uh, bad checksum. So these are uh, like errors and they uh, relate to description. Okay, and this is what when it was got updated into the MS suspect pages. This is what like uh, in general thing. Okay, and by default this table will only handle up to thousand numbers. So whenever this got corrupt, I mean, this table got increased, right? There will be no scope for new pages. So if we configure alert, so we can mainly look into that. And once we look into that, we are going to delete these records. So in my case, uh, it's all like, I want to store all these records up to 90 days. Uh, it's all depends upon the, if there are a huge number of pages, I will go for 30 days. If page got corrupted, I would like to highlight this okay if page got corrupted and it got recovered as well but still these entries will won't get deleted you have to delete manually okay so this is the thing and so if i use this script this will script will you uh, we got the logic and everything now we need to place this script into beautiful html format so everything it will be color and everything right so what you need to do you just use the script here you need to change your outlook um, db mail outlook okay and here you for whom you need to send an email in my case i'm using this single email id in your case you have to use the group uh, sql dba team dl so that every who are in the shift they will take care of that okay now i am already having right i'm just simply executing i uh, execute here that's it now i'm going back and refreshing this i got this okay now click on that see i got suspected pages and uh, lenovo details are below now you can just go to the instance and you can work out whether you can do a dbcc page uh, um, repair option as well otherwise you can restore those pages uh, from the healthy backup file so there are like a number of options uh, so it all depends upon your organization like business continuity which one is suitable for you so this is one way what we need to do you have to go on this and you have to copy uh, you have to create a job that should be run okay that should be run uh, its count is more than zero or you can count like one okay if they are uh, more than pages it all depends okay uh, if it is zero then you don't get an email um, okay so these are like uh, you, you just change the logic and if your old pages are there you just come here and change the counter okay you just uh, copy this code and uh, I mean you can run every one hour or every two hours or three hours something like that okay and so so that it will be every it will be some button uh, but you can configure every one day okay so if there are records it will uh, give the otherwise it won't disturb us this is one of the way but my organization is very uh, sensitive for the data and i want to react very immediately then you can go with the alerts when our page got corrupted, da database database suspend pages alert. So whenever database got corrupted, it will trigger one event 824. Okay, so I'm selecting SQL Server event alert. I'm selecting for all the database. Okay, and now I'm triggering this 824, 824. Now come here and execute the uh, as of now i don't have any i just simply notify click email and here include the error okay and i just uh, if 
so that there no n number of pages i will say like uh, 5 minutes or 15 minutes delay okay as of now i'm just leaving like that only just click okay that's it so now what do i need to do so as of now i cannot trigger this thing right history there is no one now what i need to do i need just i need to trigger that error how i need to trigger so when somebody will access then you will get to know see this is there i got triggered there right now you just come here see history got one now i think you have to get one email here see sql notifications this is the error how i used to get so it's all uh, which one is suitable for you it's all up to you and you can use any uh, any one of these alerts i'm going to give all these uh, scripts in the comment box i'm going to pin one thing i would like if code is more than 5000 lines then i'm going to comment in the uh, under the pin comment only you can get it all each and every code from that otherwise alternatively i will place all the scripts in the google drive what you are going to find in this description in if link got change you can get it from the new videos description i hope uh, you may like my initiative uh, just give some feedback how you feel this video is good or not for you thank you bye